of weather. Now made of only gas and dust, 5,500 degrees Celsius, born 4.6 billion years ago, and known as Solis to our Latin friends, I am the sun. Woo! Well, look over here where there is no atmosphere. I am the Earth's natural satellite, although she also sets the night for the Earth's night. Although there's a rumour going around that she's a ball of cheese. According to the Latin language, she is known as the name of Luna, but you may know her as the moon. <laughs> oh, you might see it in the sky, but it's not the moon. <laughs> it might rain on you during a monsoon. Never mind that. I am the rain. Hello, my beautiful creatures. Now, you have many names for this person, all in alphabetical order. Anna, Bill, Claudette. Well, that is most certainly not their name. They are known as Zephaia, or as the Greeks say, Zephaeus, meaning calm and gentle because that's what they are. But you may call them the wind. <laughs> oh, I am so excited for you all to watch my show. I'm obviously the star of it. <laughs> Every time, son, this is our show. Yes, Sorry. we are all equal parts here. Yes, of course. About equal parts. Someone is missing. Who? Oh, no. Rain is right. Where is snow? Oh, oh no. no. I'm going to go find them. I'm going. I will find no, them. I will no. I found them, I found them. It's not snow. Now let's help get on with the show. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh, maybe. Snow! 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 Oh, it's no use! Um, how about we pass some time until they, they arrive? We could go chase some butterflies! Ugh, that's what? boring! What are we going to do? The situation is poo! Let's tell some stories! No, like stories! Yeah. Oh, oh, I'll start! <clears throat> we went out to dinner and. and uh, I'll take over. So, we went out to dinner and me being the amazing one made sure we all had a <laughs> really good time. <laughs> that's not quite right now, is it? I will tell this tale truthfully from here on out. One day, Sun, Wind and I went out to dinner with Ray. Our friend, the snow, waited for our return, having not eaten yet themselves. They hoped and wished for one of their friends to bring them something back. But both Sun and Wind were greedy and selfish. They enjoyed their meal, but brought back nothing for the snow, not realizing their wish. But me, being a gentle and kind moon, removed a portion of food and kept it underneath my beautiful long fingernails to make them smile without fail. <laughs> when we return home, the snow has asked us what have we brought back, to which the sun and the wind promptly replied, We didn't bring anything back for you. I mean, why would we? You didn't even ask. We went for our own enjoyment. We could hardly think about you and your meal requirements. But no. I had given her the delicious food that I had brought back for her because helping other people improves me and shows them that you care. The snow was so angry at the wind and I for our selfishness that they cursed us. And that's why the sun is hated in warm weather. And the wind is so disagreeable. But, but the moon was blessed with good wishes, and that is why she's always beautiful and shimmery. Oh, she really is, you know, with being Snow's favourite, of course I am. <laughs> Hold on a moment. I don't come across very nice in that story. Me neither. And I'll have you know, me and Snow have repaired bridges since then. Well, where's the evidence to prove otherwise, son? Well, I'm sure when the snow turns up, uh, we can have another story. Would you like to hear my story? Yes. You see, now that is not why I am hot. I mean, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> I mean, ancient civilizations spent their whole lives trying to understand me. I'm just that amazing, you see. In ancient Egypt, they believed 
that I sailed across the sky in a boat. In Korea, they believed that the moon and I were sisters and that we ran away into the sky to get away from a scary and ferocious tiger. Oh, well, no. how sweet. <laughs> the ancient Aztecs believed that four suns had been created in four different ages and each of them died at the end of each cosmic era. <laughs> Joke's on them. I'll never die. <laughs> Maybe like in a, I don't know, a, a billion years? <laughs> Maybe. In ancient Chinese mythology, there were ten of me. Imagine that, ten sons. How wonderful would that be? Wonderful. Yeah, all right. I heard from the ancient Greeks that you rode a chariot around the world. <laughs> Indeed, I did. Maybe I should get a chariot. Hmm, imagine how great, no, monumental, no, grandiloquent I would look in a chariot. Oh, no. Well, I, I was just attempting. Well, that's all well and good. Still no sign of snow. But it was a good first attempt. Oh, so what are we going to do? I have an idea. An idea better than telling a story. What is what better than a do? story? Uh, yes. Uh. <laughs> is actually a hurtful phrase to me. I mean, you don't hear the people saying sun, sun, go away now, do you? So why do you want me to go away? I can actually remember a time where I was wanted and needed. Oh, and the people prayed and begged for the sun to stop being so harsh. Harsh? Yes, harsh. So, would you like to hear that story? Uh, well... Thousands of years ago, the sun was so strong, Ooh. so strong that no other weather could even compete. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm quite fond of this story, actually. Um, son, I don't think that's a good thing. Of course it is. So strong that the crops couldn't survive. The children were hungry, and their parents were worried. Oh, no. Oops. The three dragons. Oh, rah! the earth people begging for water. Oh, it was so sad to see. I wanted to fix it. As dragons visited the Jade Emperor, asking to send rain down to Earth, she said, I'll send rain the next day and shoot us off shaking with mirth. Oh, but she does not. Aha. So seeing this, I decided to make it rain by scooping water from the ocean and spraying it down on Earth. Oh. Oh, the people were so happy. I made them happy. The crops thrived, children could eat again, and I saved them. Thank you. Thank you. He gets applause. I'm sorry, but I come out every single day and I save people's lives every single day, and I don't even get to brag about it. What? You don't brag? No. I'm sorry, but saying that you don't brag is like <laughs> saying that <laughs> snow is hidden inside my bag. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Wait. They are? Let me what? see. I this whole time we've been looking for the snow. snow. Is it in your bag? Joke? Well, it's not funny. Sorry. <laughs> Perhaps you should leave the jokes to me, Moon. I'm obviously the funny one. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> of course I'm funny. 
funny. The snow thinks I'm funny. Well, where is she to prove otherwise? Well, like I said, I'm sure they'll just, uh, maybe this, uh, reminds me of a argument we once had before. Oh yeah, I think it was to see, um, who was the strongest. Indeed, and with my memory being in tip-top, I won that competition. I'm so sorry, Sim, but has your old age badened your memory skills? Because I think I won that one. <laughs> Welcome to the Elemental Storytime Showdown. In the red corner, we have the scintillating sun, sun, sun. And in the green corner, the whimsical wind, wind, wind. Who will win this battle? Let us find out. Ding, ding. Eons ago, the wind and I decided upon a competition. We had been competing for so long. But we could never see who the winner was. No, so when we spotted uh, a man walking down the street wearing a jacket, it sparked an idea upon us. We decided to have a competition to see who would succeed in taking the jacket off the man. The element who succeeded in taking the man's jacket off would forever be known as the strongest element alive, which I know is something very proud to boast about. <laughs> well. Me being the wind, I decided to go first. I mean, I took no time to think about it. I came up with the obvious solution. <clears throat> I drew a breath in, the deepest breath I could with all my might, and I sent a horrendous storm of hurricane oh! down the street the man was walking Whoa. upon. Whoa. But the man was still wearing his jacket. In fact, he was anchoring it to his chest to ensure that it would not fly away in these horrendous winds. <laughs> Well, this, this will work. <laughs> See, now the uh, rain is uh, still wearing his jacket, so are you quite done? Okay. Now, my lovely audience, what the wind failed to mention, let alone even think about, was that you do not always need to be the strongest to win every competition. No, I know, coming from me, that is an insane thing to hear. What, with these gorgeously carved out muscles and my lean oh, physique? Oh, hurry up, son. The audience does not have all day. Well, what is there to say, really? I simply shown my beautiful, strong heat waves at the path the man was walking upon. He was so shocked in the sudden change of weather, but... He still had his jacket on, nonetheless. So, still not using any energy of my own, I made the heat waves just a little bit stronger, so the man started to feel hotter. And hotter. And hotter! Uh-huh. Okay, until he took his jacket off. Oh, You don't have to be disheartened, them. I simply use my own skills to the very best of their ability. <laughs> I go, I only have one thing left to say to you, though. Oh, and what's that? Um, I guess you have more bark than you have bite. Okay, let's all just take a breather now. <laughs> now, now, my wonderful audience, I can positively assure you that I'm nowhere as near as that aggressive anymore. I mean, I am much more calm these days. <laughs> Too calm, if you ask me. But no one ever asks me. <laughs> it's kind of like a, a a dog situation. You know when a dog gets all mad and barks for no reason. Oh, 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 oh. Hi, trying to tell me my story. Oh. And they just destroy things. They make lots of noise. Oh, now I've lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, I'm calm because when I get angry, things happen and not so good things. Oh, thank you, dear. <clears throat> when I was a little wisp of air, I was bored and wanted to see what I was capable of. So, understandable. Weird. Unnecessary. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. You can't tell me that you've never been bored before. So I took this, a little trip to this random village in Coventry. And, like I said, I was bored, so I took an umbrella from sauna and I quickly turned it inside out. <laughs> You improved to the 10th! 
stars. <laughs> and still not satisfied with that, you whisked the kite up into the air and kept it spinning around up there. Whoa. 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 And then you grabbed the shirt out left to dry and tossed it up into the sky. Oh, no, I'm naked. Oh. You lifted the wig from the judge's hat and didn't drop it back. Instead, you plucked a hanky from a nose and up, up, up it rose. Ah, ah, you grabbed the postman's letters up and then, as if you hadn't done enough, you went and stole a striped flag fluttering on a pole. Whoa. I pulled the scars from the twins and I tossed them to the other thing. I sent newspapers fluttering around and when I got bored of the things I found, I just pulled them together, threw them down and just flew away to the sea for a while. Oh. How? What? Why? Uh, well, why are you guys looking at me like that? Okay, I can't lie. I'm trying to find my inner zen here, and you're all just staring at me. It's kind of distracting. Could you, I don't know. Please, just stop. Oh, dear wind. I can only stand and stare. As I really can't bear what you did over there. Well, at least I can control it much better these days. You do? Uh, did it work? <laughs> yeah, um, oh. it's not here, please. Did it work, did it work, did it work, did it work? <laughs> no? No. no. Sorry. No snow here. Sorry. That flag <laughs> reminds me of a time once gone. This American man with his American flag. He prodded me all over with his flag in hand, claiming it was now his land. At least the second man wore softer shoes. Bigger strides and my complexion leaves me more time for infatuation. Oh, speaking of shoes, so has anyone actually had the courage to, I don't know, um, step on you yet? Hmm, let me think. Well, no. You see, it's a combination of two things. So, like I said, I'm 5,500 degrees Celsius, if you remember from the start of the show. And I'm a bit gassy. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, but talking about problems, my problem is that I give you so many things and what I get in return. Rain, rain, go away. Oh, Rain, I feel so underappreciated too. I mean, I get blamed for everything. Like, too cold, blame the wind. Too hot, blame the wind. I mean, I just can't win. I have no problems. I have to go out every single day to make the days easier. Excuse me! It's my story time. Thank you. Now, let me tell you a story that is full of light, revealing why I shine so bright. The truths, the unseen spirits of the world started by creating the sun and they were to be the mother of all things shedding light into the world to have fun only once they had completed this the trues saw the sun's eyes filled with loneliness so i offered to be their one companion and from there the creation of the world did happen the trues coined their pair mother all they watched over the world from night till morn Sun by day, moon by night. They did this because it just felt right. However, things didn't work then like they do now. Night never came. There was no sleeping, no chow. <laughs> the moon had two eyes to shed light upon the globe. The sun had the same, meaning light perpetually glowed. However, for some reason, the truths saw with this a few problems. They said that the world was growing bored and weary and unconscious. And the trues then realised that they couldn't go both seen alike. They would have to remove one of the sun's eyes so that in time, darkness could blanket the world. But how could the sun protect and guard us during it when I did? I begged the trues to take my eyes instead. They accepted my request and with one eye, I was left. In that moment, the trees and the flowers and even the people shut their eyes to rest and to dream. Oh, it was all so good. But I was not left with nothing. You see, the truths repaid me by granting me with ethereal, never-ending beauty. And for this, I am thankful and never will be gloomy. Whoa! Whoa! That was a beautiful story, Moon. Thank you. It's bound to get snow out. <laughs> um, 
Told you. Do, do you hear that? Yes. Oh, it sounds so pretty. <laughs> oh, I really hope that is the snow. I have so much to tell them. I've not seen them in so long. It's going to be absolutely amazing if they come out right now after all this time. Oh, wait, I can hear them. Can you? No. Come out. Let us see your glittering beauty for all to see. I, I can't. It's too hot for me. The earth. It, I can't compete with it. It used to be fine. I used to come every winter and bring joy. But it got too hot. The earth keeps getting hotter and hotter and I, it's not livable for me. The climate is ever changing. And the more it changes, the more difficult it is for me. Each year is different. It's scary. Even now I must leave. But I am hugely grateful that I got to see you. Goodbye. I hope to see you all soon. Thank <laughs> you. 